Welcome everybody to the first episode of Hunter Point Club. Dallas did Hundred Point Club us Thursday first map. <laughs> it was wild, man. It was a good match. Yeah, how you doing, Shio? I'm doing uh pretty solid. Coming off my own Hundred Point Club uh, two days ago in two two GPS, we got utterly smoked. Nice, yeah, love two, to hear. Two GPS are hard, man. Like they're, oh, they're hard. You know, those, you, those kids know what they're doing. It's yeah, a you, rough you gotta have a passion for two v twos. My buddy told no, me I just, that. I just want to practice and not embarrass myself tomorrow, man. Like, yeah. that's all I'm asking. It's going to be a hard one. <laughs> As, uh, 2v2 is, especially for hardpoint, it's that kind of it's that kind of vibe where you have to, like, know the map or know the spawns, you know? You know, you got to be, like, in sync with your teammate. Yo, what are you doing? Where are you going? You know what I'm saying? It's one of those. It's really good. It's it's a lot of fun to play 2v2s, especially someone oh, who's God. especially someone who's played, like, S&D for a while, you know? Yeah. So, but uh, I'm just going to go ahead and start firing off questions, dude. Who's your favorite pro player? <laughs> oh, favorite. Um, I'm going to cheat and give a couple. Okay. From So, current active favorite pro is definitely going to be Scup. Scup, um, okay. Because he was one of the first guys that I saw. So, the first series I ever actually saw was Optic and Leverage in a weekly warfare back in, like, like MW3. Mm. Uh, this is the... This is the series where Skump got traded to Optic for, I believe it was Proofy at the time, between, like, Leverage and Optic. Yeah. Um, and then I followed Skump ever since. So I'm going to say Skump is my favorite player of all time. I mean, I've followed him the whole way. He's not even a kid anymore, right? I yeah, mean, he's dude, older than me. But it's like, wild. If you're thinking of how long it's been and, like, how consistent he's been over the time, it's like he's definitely there. Um, yeah. Favorite? retired player is rambo like i'd say rambo is probably one of my favorite players of all time he's canadian so yeah. he has points for that rambo um, he's, yeah he's like one of the smartest guys to ever play the game oh yeah he's co he's coach for dallas he's, he's an absolute genius yeah. um and like he basically trained like the original like set of players in terms of mindset and like how to play the game he was an objective player same thing i did at the time so i, re I looked up to him a lot for that so definitely gonna say rambo was my favorite Good, yeah, nice. Rambo's good. Rambo's no no bias, clearly, but like, you know what? It's been it's been how many years of following the optic team yeah. and like their players and watching guys come in and out. It's like, yeah, especially those, those are definitely two of the favorites. Especially now with the new optic story, you know, optic bought he op hex bought optic back. You know, yeah. Honestly, it's great to see it back. Like, oh yeah. You have organizations that have like you've associated with Call of Duty for so long, like FaZe, Optic, and now LA Thieves too are back in the league. So like, it's great to see them, even though it's like people consider it cheating or whatever that their branding is like in the league still, even though yeah. it's supposed to be like, yeah, like, it's like a workaround or whatever. But I think that like that brand just carries so much weight in competitive Call of Duty that you just can't not have it. Yeah, right. So yeah, they they cheat their way around. They're called FaZe Clan, but they're just FaZe. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah, exactly. it, yeah, it's it's a way around it, you know. So, yep. I mean, we can't complain too much. The brand's there, and that's all I really care about at the end of the day. So we'll yeah. take it. <laughs> now you mentioned MW three. Is that your favorite COD? Ooh. Um. For nostalgia's sake, I'm gonna say yes. Okay. Um. Started in MW2. I didn't play Black Ops. I spent the Black Ops year playing MW2. Mm -hmm. And then I went to MW3. MW3 was when I first started competing in like game battles and things like that. Really? Um, and that's when I first really started watching. Okay. Um, so I think nostalgia's sake, even though MW3 was such like a crapshoot in terms of competitive. Uh, yeah. Um, and like, like non existent and everything like that, like it was definitely a favorite. Plus, it was an all like s and d essentially i think all the tournaments were just s and d's only yeah which i found kind of entertaining and, and it was kind of weird i guess given that black ops was like the rotating game modes and then suddenly mw's just like only s and d right right and then they went back to the rotating game modes after that but i think the favorite otherwise is black ops 2 right um but with competitive standpoint playing standpoint it was just so much fun and i enjoyed that game so much great map design mm -hmm. i mean we're seeing all the throwback maps like raids back expresses oh back. yeah 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 like, i'm excited for that express it's a week away man like yeah express coming back into the map pool might even i mean they'll probably add it to the pro pool as well in snd or something like that so i'm looking forward to that yeah i'm thinking snd 
I don't think it fits. I mean, maybe hard point, but I don't think they'll axe a hard well, point map out of the pool. To be what honest. was it? What was when it wasn't competitive in BO two? What was uh the? It was it just an S and D map? Uh, it was S and D and hard point. Okay. Um, I don't. It might have been CTF two actually. Now that I think about it, I think it was. A yeah, CTF yeah, map. I remember. Yeah, I remember seeing clips. It was CTF two. Yeah. But I don't. So think... It was all three. I don't think it'll work in control. No, uh, no, it's, yeah, it's not it's control. Symmetric. I don't think it's gonna work. Yeah. Um, which kind of sucks, but like. Like, we were theory crafting about it the other day on stream of, like, oh, where would you put the control points? And, like, based on what we discussed, we're like, it probably doesn't work that well. Right, right, right. Um, but we'll see. I mean, it's going gonna, it's gonna to have control built into it regardless, so we'll see what happens, I guess, when they announce it. But, yeah, yeah, we'll look forward to it. I mean, that reminds me, you know, we're, we're, this, your league, the rec league, right? It, I, I see the rules, and... A lot of it mirrors the the CDL league, you know. Yeah. You know, my my question is why why are we doing the same thing as a CDL when we're we're own league? You you have your own league, you know what I'm saying? You can make up the own rules if you if you yeah. want expressed as a hard point, make it a hard point. You know what I'm saying? What do you think? No, uh, yeah. Um, I mean, the basis that we've been operating on is that we're trying to provide the same experience as what the pros do. Right. like what the pros have so essentially um like we're trying to offer the same experience like everyone in this league knows we're not going pro right. no one is going to go pro no one's good enough for that we're all like everyone's old a lot of people have families kids <laughs> like whatever thanks um, thanks like, we, like we missed, we've missed our opportunity to go pro like <laughs> for most of us right like we have jobs and like we're not going to dedicate the 12 hours a day to play right yeah uh, you know what i mean yeah, um yeah. so this is kind of like the closest experience you'll ever get to like being pro, being on stage, having your games casted over. Um, so to provide the same experience, we're trying to do the exact same rule set, um, which will be made easier, I guess, once like pre-made classes and all that stuff like starts coming out and they finally, you know, get around to it. Right. Um, and tell us about them. But until then, we're operating on like the same GA list. I know people are ticked that like there's no AK, there's no yeah, um, there's no like everything because like eighty percent of the items are banned now. But right. Um, but it's like, it's a mirror experience, right? So we're trying to do the exact same thing. And if we're going to play, and that means playing by the same rules. Right. I'll, I'll tag along to that too. If, if somebody wanted to go pro, they gotta, they gotta play pro points, you know, and yeah. playing, playing people in pro points is like, you gotta be cracked out of your mind, you know? <laughs> so to ha to have to, to know people in this league and to be, to be a beer league, you know? It, it it makes it fun, you know. Instead of playing pro points, to say, "Oh, we lost 10, 10 games in a row," you know, we, this isn't fun anymore. I would just I'd rather go play Fortnite or Minecraft, you know. So yeah, yeah, I, I, well, yeah. It's it's like a I guess part of it too is that we're kind of like a bridge between, like I know there's always that like massive debate divide between the competitive community, like the casual community, and this is like. Anyone from casual who, like, decides to dabble in, like, for a lot of people uh, in the league, this is their first experience in competitive play. Right. Um, we have like, a yeah. lot of people that have grown up, like, or, like, grown over the course of this league existing, going from never knew competitive existed to being, like, one of our better players in the league, stuff like that. Yeah, um, And, like, not everyone's cracked out of their mind, right? So, I mean, <laughs> we're, like, we're not that good. So it's nice to have, like, an even play like it, it leads to good matchups too it doesn't matter how good you guys are you're always going to be playing people approximate your skill level so it always turns out to be really good yeah i've met people in this league that are like yeah i've played pro points every day you know i think i'm really good i'm gonna i'm smoking everybody in this league no doubt and it's week one and <laughs> they get three would you know <laughs> i've met those guys too yeah we definitely guys. have teams in here that are like, capable and oh, yeah. like players that have played competitively like there's a whole list of players, I'm pretty sure, that, like, guys that have gone to events that play pro points, whatever, but this is, like, like, toned down, I guess. Like, yeah. you don't want to spend all your time playing pro points and stressing out. This is, like, a relaxing kind of environment, in a sense. Yeah, and it feels good. So it uh, makes it a lot easier. From experience, it does feel good, <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. If you're going to go to round game five, round 11, and have someone screaming about it on, like, a stream... Well, most people, for most people, like, you see that happen at events, right? And, like, the major yeah. events, you see the pros do it on stage. Like, this is the closest you're ever going to get, so. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're, we're trying to do what we can, right, so.
It's good. It's good. Yeah. I'm switching uh, questions here. Switching topics. What's your? You told me your favorite COD map or COD game. What's your least favorite COD? I'll put least in mine favorite too. Favorite COD. Yeah, send yours as I give some time to think about this. Actually, uh, right off the right Ooh. off the bat, it's IW Infinite Warfare. I could not play that game the entire year. <laughs> I couldn't, dude. From the K bar to the E rad to the movement, and I didn't have a scuff back then either, so it wasn't easy for me to move around. But I played, I played that game every day with the uh, with with my duo Crazy Care Bear. It was it was not fun for me. <laughs> he was really good at that game. He says that's his favorite. It, he's he would tell he would say that game came out way too early for its time. You know, it should have came out uh, like a different jetpack game should have came out and then IW. You know, so it's now now that I think about it, it's it was fun. It was definitely different. You know, but yeah, that's fair. Right off right off the bat, I I couldn't play the game. Oh man, this is this is a hard question to be honest. So I have like a gap in the middle of all the games that everyone hated because I went to school, so I didn't play. I didn't take my console with me, so I didn't play. Okay. Um, I'm gonna say my least favorite is probably Modern Warfare. Modern Warfare. Um, so I played like like the recent last year's Modern Warfare. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Screw the screw TTK, man. Like you die so yeah. damn fast in that game. It's ridiculous. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, but I played. So the games I played, I had MW2, MW3. Black Ops 2, Ghosts, AW, Black Ops 3, and then I ended at Black Ops 3. Okay. And all those games were actually really good. Like, Advanced Warfare was probably the one that I played the worst at because I started, I switched to Claw in that game because I realized you can't, like, jetpack and aim at the same time if you don't, right. yeah, like, yeah. If you don't have access to the jump button at the same time. Exactly. So I just switched to Claw and that hurt as hell. Yeah, my fingers are like, too fat for Claw. <laughs> my, uh, my middle fingers are, like, the the tips of my middle fingers i don't know if you can tell but like they're slightly bent nice. that way from playing a ps3 controller because i <laughs> would hold it with my uh with my fingers like against the back this was yeah. before i switched to claw so i literally like like mangled my middle fingers yeah as a result of playing so don't the it's, claw doesn't... switch was kind of good to be honest yeah yeah i couldn't i couldn't play claw either my my fingers are too fat for that <laughs> but uh it's a really small actually so it was like it was it was a stretch. Yeah. What was I going to say? Yeah, I, I did not enjoy MW, to be honest. It was yeah. like, I th- I just think it was like, yeah, the TTK was too fast. It looked glorious. Like, it's a fantastic looking game. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. Um, But I think in terms of just all the past games, I just didn't enjoy MW uh, I, I see, as much as all the other ones. I see the hate in Modern Warfare, but I was, I played a lot of SND in that game, you know? So, yeah. I, I'm in I'm in the middle in that game. You know, it was bad. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Yeah. There's a lot of things wrong with that game, but it was, it got me it got me to play it again. You know what I'm saying? That's fair. I mean, it was like my reintroduction back into Call of Duty after like five years, but I only right, played right. about three months of it. Yeah. Um. Because like, so not everyone knows this. When I joined the league to help, I didn't own the game. Um, right. So I literally didn't have Call of Duty. I literally just joined, and I'm like, I'm gonna help out. And it's like, if I <laughs> I can't play, so I'm just gonna provide as much and provide as much help as I could. And that's yeah how it started essentially. Um, and like, but I I really I can't hate a Call of Duty game. I like Call of Duty too much for that. I just put MW at the back end of like this is the least liked out of all the ones I've played. Right, right. Because you because you went from playing playing the good cards stopping in the middle when they started getting bad yeah, exactly <laughs> and, and then, then i just got with it on the other side yeah, right yeah, so, yeah yeah and then you got right at the worst <laughs> so yeah which is unfortunate it's like i i watched it black ops 4 looked like a ton of fun it was honestly i'm <sighs> i'm kind of upset that i missed black ops 4 yeah it was it was a good cod i can say that it was a chair game you had your movement that's all you needed was just your yeah, movement exactly. you know but, Other the uh, what is it? The uh, constant ADSing look like it got. Tired. Oh, the Maddox! Oh, it blew me out of the water. That was that was really bad. Toward towards the end of BO4, I got, I started to feel more confident in my gunfight. You know, I started picking up the yeah. Maddox. I was nasty with it, but uh, and then it was over. It was Here over. Comes MW. There, there, there it is. Should have stayed on BO4. <laughs> 
you know? Give it us another year of the game. Honestly, it was it was like overall it was a really good competitive game. Mm-hmm. Um, and the scene was actually really solid. Although, like the, I mean, we had the CWL and whatever. Like it was, it was a good time to be honest. Black Ops Four was actually relatively stable, and then we had like the franchise shift and the massive change in MW, and everyone's like, MW's trash. Yeah, um, yeah. So it, like, so it was like kind of a rough freshman season, I guess, for the CDL. But you know what? We're back. Black Ops Cold War, even though most of it's online. Yeah. Um, so we're looking forward to it, man. Like, I hope this year turns out a lot better, to be honest. Yeah, MW got a lot of hype in the beginning for nothing. <laughs> it so good, though. Yeah. That, like, it looks really good, and then it, the pros kind of end at that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then that's kind of it. Yeah. Why, why aren't you competing? Why aren't you playing in this rec league, Shio? I spend too much time trying to organize this to be honest and then being <laughs> on the casting just like yeah cause like i do a mix of like kind of everything involved in the rec league right now right right um yeah. so like i do a lot of the production related stuff uh, a lot of the back end and like organization stuff and then i'm on the desk for casting as well mm-hmm. um, but as we are bringing in additional casters so i might end up starting to play eventually okay yo um, i'm really not that good either right like tomorrow <laughs> TV2 is going to be the first time I play something in this rec league. Yeah. Um, Because I usually cast the tournaments, but Senior is doing that for me tomorrow. So good. I good. got to play. Um, So yeah, I got to. I'm. Stre- I think my game is being streamed on for the first for the very first round. Okay. Uh, so I got to not embarrass myself on uh, <laughs> live on stream. That's so we're funny. We're going to see how that goes. Nah, Master Shield's going to wreck the league. Get it. Yeah, hopefully if I, as long as I don't get double first rounded, I'll be happy. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. I just don't want to get double first rounded. No, I, I don't think you. I don't know who you play, but uh, I don't think you. I think you got this. You and your teammate Mel. You said Mello. Mello's your teammate, Mello's, right? Mello had a family emergency, so he's actually out. I am paired with Cookie. Cookie. Oh, Cookie's um, really I play, good. And I played Jr. Shep and Dang, who were actually on stream yesterday. We just saw him play, so I got to go back and. Uh, Watch the footage and see how cracked they are, right? So, <laughs> yeah, I feel that, dude. We'll see how that goes. And then we have an EU matchup after that. So, oh. you know what? Regardless, it'll be, it'll be interesting. Yeah, win the coin toss. Like EU2 is like, yeah, like EU host is just a rough time, like going across the pond. But I mean, tournament play is open to everybody. So, it's something that you just got to work with. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. I actually, I was, I was going to talk about this. But I actually, uh, I I actually got into competitive at BO3. Black Ops Three was when I met Crazy Care Bear, and yeah. uh, at towards the end of BO3, we started playing GBs. You know, we got teammates. We've actually been to a couple lands, but he'll he'll be on the podcast soon, so you'll hear about you hear about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, we'll get his we'll get his whole story once yeah. that happens. Oh yeah, yeah. So we're nearing towards the end. We got. Close to ten minutes left, right? So sure. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make this a little bit fun at the end, you know. Pick right. pick four. Pick four pro players to win champs right now. So they have to be in the le- like in the league. Yeah. Ooh. So I if I could make a team of any four players. Yeah, tomorrow is champs. Ooh. Everybody's a free agent. <laughs> you got to pick four pro players to win champs. Ooh. And then I'll pick my four. Okay, I'm going to pick Krim. Okay, Krim. Go pick. I'm going to pick Krim as a main AR. Um, I mean, honestly, if I took the easy route, I'd just pick all of Dallas, to be honest. But like, I mean, you can't do that here. Nah. I'm, I'm one, not going to do that. One for team. That's, that's easy way out. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm going to take... Team. I'll take Simp off of phase. Okay, Simp. Which is... I think that's SMG, right? Or is he yeah. flex now? No, he, he's I, SMG, I'm pretty sure. I think he's sub still, yeah. Yeah. Um... Damn, I need a list of players. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know my four, so say. I'll grab mine too. I, I, straight up, I straight up can't remember half the team, half the players in this league now. <laughs> uh, player tracker. No, no, that's that's not it. Uh, teams. Ooh. Uh, um, I'm gonna pick Priesta off Minnesota. Okay, Priesta. Um, and I need one more SMG. I mean, I have to. I have to take Scump then. 
Scump. All right. Yeah. So I'd make a team of, yeah, Simp, Scump, Priesta, and Crim6. I don't know how well they'd get along, to be honest. Yeah. I'm curious about that. I, I, mean, know... I mean, they squashed it. Scump and, Scump and Crim squashed their beef. So that's that's, that's pretty true. good. That is true, actually. Yeah. I, I know Simp was like, not happy with Clayster or whatever at the end, and that's why the, like that United team ended up breaking up at the mm. end. Uh, I'm curious about, I guess, attitude, but I mean... I feel like that would be a pretty ridiculous team. I mean, if I made an underdog team, I'd probably play pull like Kleenex off of Ultra. Um, uh, like Kleenex Envoy, I think would be a ridiculous sub duo. Yeah. M maybe Major Maniac or Awakening. Okay. Yeah. And like Shotzi I didn't even... as your as your uh, flex or something like that. Solid. Teams. Honestly, I feel like Toronto is going to be pretty solid this year. Yeah. Toronto and Minnesota were probably fighted out for like fourth solid teams like that so let me give you oh, mine right yours. all right first pick is going to be formal right yeah I got, I got formal i got hook from dallas <sighs> let me get crim no not crim clay i want clay formal yeah. hook and a beezy Ooh, Honestly, that would be solid. pretty good. Solid. You're gonna have you're gonna have Clay screaming at everybody over everybody, the course of that. Everybody, bro, the passion, time. the passion's gonna be there. They got it. They got champs on the bag. Hundred <laughs> percent. It's gonna be a lot. I like of fun. it actually. I like it. That's a solid team. Yeah. Everybody's gonna I like be. How everybody's gonna get a world star. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Those. The, I mean, everybody. Everybody's in their place for a reason, you know. I got I got yeah, some I'm, pro players that are in my mind. I'm like, why are you still a pro, man? You know? <laughs> yeah. I mean, honestly, it's like I kind of miss because uh, like it's kind of weird now watching all the guys retire that like we spent so many years watching, mm -hmm. right? Like, uh, like I mean, they're not retired, but like you have like guys like AXTP, JCap, Karma, Merc, like yeah, Karma, Karma. I feel like is gonna be back. I I think I think the competitive itch is too much for him that I yeah. think he's gonna return. And he looks good enough to return too, so like, I, mean, I don't think. I mean, it sucks because they don't even get to play the game first before they retire, you know. Yeah. So he retired, and then the game came out, and then Karma was actually really good at this game in the beginning. Um, I don't, I think it was the the Pharaoh Memorial Tournament. I think the first one, and yeah. uh, he put in that. He put in a couple cups as well, I think. Yeah. No, nah, I mean he he could have went back to the Am team. But starting up from zero, going up to pro again, that's that's wild. But then you think about people yeah. like, you think about uh, Diamond Con, who was in uh, the AM scene, who just got picked up like this because of Zuma, you know? Yep, and he's been he got he's got his promotion already. So exactly, like, if something's already called up. It's already paying off for them, really. I think I think it would have been that easy for Karma too, you know? Probably. But who's the who's I think the if, he, if he wanted to be back, he'd be back. I think. Yeah, like, I mean he, he's if you committed, it, it it'll happen. Oh yeah, oh yeah, hundred percent. It's it's the stress of being the pro player too, you know. You gotta have teammates yeah. to rely on stuff like that. Absolutely. I think I think Karma's good. He's really comfortable where he's at. Karma's good. He's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man. Uh, first episode of the Hundred Point Club. So it's out of the way. Chio. Glad to have you on, man. Oh, thanks for having me, man. Thank you for uh for creating this as a whole. Yeah, it's a lot of I fun. We appreciate it. We appreciate it. We're gonna get to hundred episodes. <laughs> yeah, hundred points. Hundred points, hundred episodes. Let's go. Sounds like fun. Hundred man. different players. It'll be great. <laughs> Sounds good. All, All right, right, man. Have a good Thanks for having me.